for one fall, making his way to the ring from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. I hope for Kevin's sake, everyone leaves him alone. Poor Kevin's got the worst luck, is constantly mistreated by general managers on both Raw and SmackDown. You ever stop to think that maybe the fault is Kevin Owens? Maybe it's the fault of the guy looking at him in the mirror? Kevin Owens is the most paranoid superstar I've ever seen. It's always everybody else's fault except for Kevin Owens. He's good, though. Here comes the commission! Shane O'Mac. And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds, Shane McMahon. I wonder whose life and career Shane's here to make miserable tonight. Oh, don't start, Corey. Commissioner Hothead is out of his mind. Completely unlikable. You know, guys, I talked to some of the members of the Mean Street Posse. They don't want anything to do with Shane O'Mac anymore because he's such an egomaniac. Kevin Owens has a motto of fight anyone. Proof of that came when he challenged SmackDown Commissioner Shane McMahon. Now, it's funny because I recall Kevin Owens having no choice. Shane McMahon had conspired to keep Owens far away from the United States Championship. Questionable officiating and a corruption of power on Shane's part forced Kevin Owens to retaliate. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. We touched on Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon's disdain for each other. It became so personal that the only match suitable was a Hell in a Cell. It was almost calculating how KO baited Shane into that position. Michael, I have no doubt that Kevin was expecting, even hoping, that Shane would try something insanely dangerous that night. And when Shane did, Kevin Owens had a guardian angel protecting him as he watched Shane crash from the very top of the cell. And setting him up the oh, and either hands. That's going to hurt. Kevin Owens came up in his career with many current WWE superstars, and he felt like he was left behind and has carried a chip on his shoulder ever since. That's right, Michael. Owens sees all the superstars he came up with as guys who have cut the line in front of him for opportunities in WWE. Shane McMahon in some trouble here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants wow. to win here. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Byron, contrary to what you said on Kevin Owens' mindset towards opportunities in WWE, Owens has main evented pay-per-views and held multiple championships. He word their goal is held, past tense. Kevin Owens is the type of superstar who should always be in contention for titles. WWE can be a place of injustice, and unfortunately, Kevin Owens has been on the raw side of the deal on too many occasions. Guys, we have all seen how dangerous Kevin Owens can be when he snaps. It doesn't matter if you're a friend or the CEO of WWE. Owens gets a sadistic look in his eyes that says he no longer cares about human life anymore. Wow, look at the quickness by Shane McMahon. Kevin Owens, just too fast for him. Surprisingly quick. Bringing up the sadistic side of Kevin Owens, Michael, reminds me of the time he viciously attacked his boss, Mr. McMahon. It appeared as if Owens fell into a some sort of trance that night. Yeah, but some may say Mr. McMahon was asking for it. But regardless, it was a callous display by Kevin Owens. A headbutt heard around the world that served its purpose as a message to the McMahon family. He's making a statement here with this attack. 
One thing you can't take away from Shane McMahon, Corey, is that he has proven to be one of the most fair and balanced leaders WWE has ever seen. Yeah, right. As evidenced by his work as SmackDown Live Commissioner, Cole, where Shane continually cultivates a, quote, land of opportunity. How about you ask Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn about Shane's fairness? brought up a great point about SmackDown being the land of opportunity, thanks in part to Shane McMahon. And you know, I'd say guys like Mojo Rawley and even Jinder Mahal should be thanking Shane. No, no, no. Let's not get carried away. Anyone that has success around Shane McMahon tends to have that success in spite of Shane's presence. You know what I respect the most about Shane McMahon, guys? It's that he could very easily sit on the sidelines and reap the benefits of being Mr. McMahon's son. But instead, he chooses to prove his worth each and every time he steps into the ring. Harsh impact. He's going for the pin. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Just barely, but it counts. Byron mentioned how Shane proves his worth by stepping into the ring, which is something I don't think a lot of executives would do, let alone go to the extreme that Shane does. Yeah, for some reason, I don't see many executives from publicly traded companies jumping through announce tables. But with Shane, that's really become commonplace. Kevin Owens going high risk. Look out! Watch this! Oh, this will damage your back. And this is all part of Kevin Owens' battle plan. Over the years, guys, I'd say we've come to expect Shane McMahon to do some crazy things in the ring, but I don't think anybody expected to see him leap off the top of the cell. At... Opponent thrown to the outside. What in the world is going to happen here? Wait, wait, oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, his apron powerbomb! Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. He might have it. Focusing more on Shane's amazing leap at WrestleMania than Michael mentioned. Remember, Shane somehow got back to his feet after ultimately missing his intended target, The Undertaker. Not only did he get to his feet, Saxton, Shane actually told The Undertaker to keep bringing it. If that's not the definition of resilient, I, I don't know what is. Here we go, back inside the ring. Kevin Owens putting together here. Ooh, what impact. Ooh. You know what I respect? 
respect to most about Shane McMahon, guys, is that he could very easily sit on the sidelines and reap the benefits of being Mr. McMahon's son. But instead, he chooses to prove his worth each and every time he steps into the ring. Oh boy, he is rolling. Byron mentioned how Shane proves his worth by stepping into the ring, which is something I don't think a lot of executives would do. Bump handle, bump handle, into the... Oh, oh, God, man, right on the back of the neck. Here's his moment, Michael. Shane McMahon's chances just went from bad to worse. Beautiful technique. Oh, no, he's taken down. You know, I don't think he has much left. Kevin Owens is in position. Oh, it was a stunner. That was the best one I've ever seen. When talking about Kevin Owens, it's been said about his tendency to be deceitful. But make no qualms about it. KO is simply a competitor first. Cover here. Kevin Owens gets the win. Here is your winner. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about wins and losses. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. It's hard to ignore the buzz coming from this Tampa crowd tonight. I hope everybody at home enjoyed this match as well.